Hello everyone, in this video I will show you a solution that uses this I2C extender sensor cable uh, to connect with your ESP32 board because sometimes the sensor used by the GPIO for ESP32 if not no enough GPIO for use so this video I will show you we have custom designed this I2C sensor so that you can connect to your I2C interface so, so you can monitor the temperature and the humidity ok let's look at how it works with our Kinkoni board ok let's look at this E16 board and also we have the E16S board and you can see uh, that have many different digital input and digital output and this is the analog input but if you want to use the sensor no free GPIO to use so this time we can use this I2C interface and you can see this is the temperature and humidity sensor so it's very easy and you can see here that we have designed for 1 meter also we can design it for 2 meter uh, how long distance that can use by this cable that according to this cable's quality and you can see uh, this can detect the temperature and the humidity because we have designed it by SHT30 chip and you can see if I open this sensor I can get out and this is a sensor chip you can see uh, this is a sensor chip so that will insert to this plastic shoe so that can install outside the room if you install out room no problem so this is for external the sensor to use uh, for example maybe you have used this DHT11 or DH22 uh, for example this is A2 board can call the A2 board and this just connect with this GPIO directly because you can see that have four pin uh, this not used and this also not used actually use 3-1 the uh, power and the date and the ground so that will use your ESP32 GPIO and this one also you can use the ESP32 GPIO just DHT11 and DH22 have different temperature and humidity range but if you have used all GPIO for other device so that you can see that have a I2C interface for example this is A2 and we will see many different Kinkoni board and, and you can see uh, this is A6 Kinkoni A6 board you also have a I2C interface at here so you just connect your sensor you can see the sensor you just connect it uh, so it's, it's very easy to extend the uh, temperature and humidity sensor this is A6 and also you will see this is A8 board and you can see uh, that also have a I2C so many different Kinkoni board if you are using and want extend the temperature and humidity sensor you just use this sensor and connect this one uh, directly so it's, it's very easy and in this video I just uh, tested this uh, for E16 so this sensor also will support by the ESP home it's very easy to use in home assistant and let's look at my computer and show you how to define in YAML file so it's very easy ok let's back to my computer and you can see this A2 bar uh, I have shown you the DHT11 and DHT2 have connect with this GPIO1 and GPIO2 at these two points but this time I will use the extender I squared extender uh, to use SHT31. You can see I just use this temperature humidity sensor, and you just define this address in ESP Home YAML file. So you can copy this one and to your YAML file. And just you can see I have copied that here for E16T. Also, you can use for E16S or any Kinkoni board. Just have a I squared extender on the PCB board. So after you copy it and paste it here you're just running you can see this is already running and you can see will show this humidity and the temperature immediately so this will be very easy to extend your uh, sensor uh, for one board maybe you have not enough GPL to use so you just connect with this uh, I square C extend okay so if you want to make your IoT project uh, you can use this I square C sensor 
not too long distance, just connect the board so that you can use the, uh, it's a very good view, value uh, for this temperature and humidity date. Okay, thanks for watching.